Good morning, folks. It is October 3rd. Feels good right now. It's about 60 degrees. Today is the opening day for archery. And that is what I'm doing this morning. I know it's going to be a little bit too dark to uh, film the introduction for this video. So I'm going to do it right now. I'm in the RV right now, getting ready and head out to the redneck blind and let's see what happens this morning all right folks i'll be right back the next scene you'll see it'll be me inside the redneck blind all right folks right now is the perfect time for a thumbs up and i will see you here shortly all right folks fingers crossed and wish me luck All right, folks. Got this little camera here. It's already legal, legal to shoot uh, venison, deer. I'm hoping for a nice doe or a big buck. Inside this uh, blind, I actually have three cameras. I got. That camera here. I got this camera there, and then I have this camera. The outside view, I have this camera here, and I have three game cams out there. If a doe shows up, let me turn this on. All right, folks, I got all the cameras recording right now. I got this camera filming me. If something comes out over 220 yards, I got the PSA, PA-10, the 308. I also have this camera here filming the outside view I got the iPhone on a slider show me that with this one I got the slider right here I got all my audio coming from this right here so, outside I have three cameras. I got a camera there, game cam, and I got another one right there. And then I have one on that tree over there. So if something comes out here, I'll have three views out there. Actually four, because I got one, two, three in this camera right here. Through inside here, I have that camera. This camera. And that camera. So, that's a lot of equipment to get some good content. All right, folks, I'm gonna be right back. Right now is the perfect time for a thumbs up. Well, folks, I see three those. I'm gonna turn this on just to film.
that's the view. 200 yards. Now that's a mature doe. Looks like it might be uh, the fawns from last year. Nothing over here. I'm gonna zoom in. Too bad they didn't show up over here. I would have some back straps that feeder I got it for like one second and this one here got it set for about five or six so they should run out of corn over there pretty quick. I, I left it for a second because I wanted to maybe get a hog at that distance. But I was hoping uh, they would show up over here. They didn't. Oh, let me show you. I'm going to put it right up here. Last night I left the uh, my ground blind and uh, drove around our uh, hunting links and I drove up to my other area hunting area and there's two hogs these right here and uh, I need to take the card out of the I reviewed the footage the thermal off of this um, my I, I, I just need to go back today because I know I connected. And, uh, so I'm taking some pictures. And with, that's going to be the second time. And of course, I shot this one here last night. That was my first, first kill with the uh, BSA PA10 308. But that's the second recording off the third floor. the idea of having video even in like the gentle season I can have well no I'll probably have this one here in gentle season but if it's dark when doing hogs there'd be some cool videos with that all right folks I wanted to show you the view of the the Thor 4 during the day I'm gonna hit record is 200 yards, a little over 200 yards. All right, that right there is the view during the day. That camera is about a little over 200 yards. I just love the setup having this camera, this camera, also this camera. That is so cool. Something shows up over here. This camera will pick it up. And then I got this this camera here. That will take the outside view. That is so cool. Looks like there's some little doves at the Yeah, it sells two those ring neck does. There's two of them. Let me zoom in if I can see if I can. Oh yeah, I can see them. Yeah, I see them. 
a 16 power. I could go to 40, but notice that the quality. You lose quality when you start zooming in. And if you're wondering, I already made a phone call. Because I do a lot of hog hunt. And uh, years, years ago, you couldn't have, during the archery season, you couldn't have... Uh, it was just archery only, but hogs, it, it's a uh, problem that we have throughout Texas. And uh, so I got the okay from the uh, game warden. I told him I'd be uh, hunting out here some hogs at night and then, and then during the day, let me go ahead and turn this off. I don't need this. Alright, turn this video off. Alright. Still see those little doves there, those ring neck. And those those uh ring neck there's uh no season for those. Anytime you see them, you can take them out. So uh anyway, I am gonna I haven't seen anything yet, I haven't seen any hogs. Let's see what happens. Alright folks, I'll be right back. Hope today you subscribe, remember to turn on the notification bell, hit the like button, and share if you care. Alright, to subscribe right now, just click on my personal icon, and then remember to mash that notification bell. I would like for you to check out these other videos, and I will see you guys on the next video. I...